हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स आई होप यू आर आर फाइन एंड हियर वी आर विद आर नेक्स्ट नेक्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज एक्सरसाइज 7.1 चैप्टर 7 दैट इज कोऑर्डिनेट ज्योमेट्री अ वेरी इजी चैप्टर टू गो विद एंड अ वेरी स्कोरिंग वन इट डजेंट इंक्लूड मच ऑफ कॉम्प्लेक्सिटीज इन इट फ्यू फॉर्मूलाज विच वी हैव to really understand the formulas and once we have understood the formulas we have to apply the formulas some logical questions some logical questions nothing more than that It's few logics we have to apply some basics that's all to start with the first formula that we have to deal with in this chapter is the distance formula and the concept behind this formula that you have to understand is that this formula is applicable whenever you have to find distance between any two points any two points whose coordinates are known those points can be the points on the coordinate system coordinate system is a system which has got x axis which has got y axis this is x axis this is y axis so any point if i consider this as as point p this as point q then this point will be having x axis x1 y1 x coordinate y coordinate x coordinate y coordinate i hope you know x coordinate means i will have to drop over here this will be its x coordinate and i will have to drop perpendicular over here that will that will be its y coordinate so this point has its x coordinates and y coordinate similarly this point will have its x coordinate and its y coordinate so most of the times gra graph will not be given to you you will be directly given the values of the coordinates or you will have to directly handle the values of coordinates once you are involved with the coordinates when you have the values of the coordinates or you are going to handle the values of the coordinates distance between this point pq that is the length of this point pq for that you have got a formula what is the formula the formula says that by distance formula pq distance pq the distance pq if we know the values of the coordinates then it is going to be x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square and then square root of this this is the formula x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square and here you can take x2 minus x1 anywhere even if you write it is equal to x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square and root of that it is right it is not that you have to take only x2 minus x except that if you, if you take x2 minus x1 then here also you have to have y2 minus y1 if you take x1 minus x2 then here also you have to have y1 minus y2 if you take this point first then it has to be point, uh, first point in x case case of x also and in case of y also so like this this distance formula if you know and suppose and one more thing is there when you are actually going to find the value of the point pq or the segment pq then of course you should use this distance formula straight forward as it is means with a square root but sometimes what happens is that you are given with a triangle and they ask you to find or identify whether this triangle is an equilateral triangle means now you have to see that this distance pq this distance qr this distance pr are they congruent or not here also they will be giving you the points x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 these points will be given to you so now you will have to find the distance this distance that means what you will have to find you will have to find this distance so i can tell pq is equal to x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square but instead of taking radical over here i will write pq square over here because i actually am not interested in finding pq i only see whether i only have to see whether pq is equal to pr and these both are equal to qr i only have to see whether they are all equal or not so instead of handling that root over there radical over there i'll put square over there and pq square is equal to so and so and then i will find qr square also by the same distance formula but when i when it comes to qr square it is x2 and x3 i can write it in any way x3 minus x2 the whole square plus 
y3 minus y2 the whole square you only have to see which values are involved the this will give that by distance formula you will be able to find the length of this and similarly pr square i will find and now what are the uh, coordinates involved x3 and x1 it will give me x3 minus x1 the whole square plus y3 minus y1 the whole square the, now when i get these values i only have to see that whether pq square qr square pr square are equal if they are equal by values whatever they are i can straight write is equal to pr square and then taking square root of this i can write pq is equal to qr is equal to pr like this it will be definitely we will be solving these questions i am just trying to explain you in what way distance formula is going to be helping you to find distances anywhere where you are going to use them that can be the sides of the triangle is also a distance uh diameter of a circle is also a distance at that time what will be the things required the two end points of the coordinate are so and so and you have to find this distance see intelligently you have to use this formula this formula will definitely help you in innumerable ways but then sometimes what happens they will also try to play a trick with you but as long as you are logically using it you won't find any problem first of all distance formula is basically you have to understand the distance between point pq is equal to x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y2 the whole square square root of whole now for that what you have what they have done for the warm up case or for you to get accustomed with that formula they have given this and then now we also have to see the way of writing the formulas not because the way of writing is going to give you marks but also because the way of writing should not confuse you yourself when you are solving it now here in this case distance between the following pairs of points so these are the points the let p correspond to x1 comma y1 and correspond to what is this 2 comma 3 q correspond to x2 comma y2 correspond to 4 comma 1 in this case you will see x1 is equal to 2 y1 is equal to 3 x2 is equal to 4 y2 is equal to 1 these values you have got this actually is not needed it is see here this can be needed because you have to present it in the form of a solution afterwards this may not be needed but i will always recommend you all people to always write this because now i will write by distance formula what do i get pq is equal to root of all are positive so i'll take any one x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square root of this okay so when i solve this i'll get pq now x2 minus x1 the whole square x2 minus x1 4 minus 2 the whole square plus 1 minus 3 the whole square root of this then i will write pq is equal to 4 minus 2 is 2 square plus 1 minus 3 will give you minus 2 the whole square root of this then this pq will be equal to 4 square of a negative number is also positive 4 to pq is equal to what i'll get is root 8 you can definitely leave the question or the solution where it is if you want to simplify it further you can definitely factorize this 2 4 are 8 2 2 are 4 2 1 are 2 this will form a pair and get out and then what you will get is this this you can write in this fashion also but you can really use anyway use any one okay so in this way we have finished with the first question first sub question now let us go to the second one now we will see over here there are negative signs involved so here also i will do the same thing p corresponds to x1 comma y1 corresponds to minus 5 comma 7 then i'll write q corresponds to x2 comma y2 this corresponds to minus 1 comma 3 therefore i'll get x1 will be equal to minus 5 y1 will be equal to 7 x2 will be equal to minus 1 y2 will be equal to 3 in this way i have got the values this will make me easy when i substitute the values i will definitely have to write the name of the formula that i am using by distance 
formula what do i get pq is equal to root of now i can use here also one negative is there here also one negative is i can use anything actually it is better to use the negative as a second one but they are going to be anyway it's same it's not going to make any difference x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square the root of this so this is going to be pq is equal to now you have to be careful x2 minus x1 minus 1 minus formula minus 5 See my dear student, here you should be able to understand. Minus 1, minus minus 5. You can directly write minus 1, minus minus 5 will be plus 5. You can directly write this. You don't have to write this. But I am writing it for in case anybody of you doesn't understand that. Y2 is 3, minus Y1 is 7. The whole square. Are you getting? I am substituting the values over here. Minus 1, minus minus 5. The whole square. Plus 3 minus 7. The whole square square root of this so this will give me pq is equal to i will have to open the bracket minus minus plus 5 the whole square plus 3 minus 7 minus 4 the whole square now this will become pq is equal to minus 5 plus 4 will uh, plus 5 will give me 4 square plus actually i can write here it is anyway not going to make any big difference but still 16 plus 16 only I'll get because square of a negative number is also positive. So this becomes PQ is equal to root 32. Here also you can do the same thing. Otherwise, if you go to simplify and write, you will get this as 2, 16, the 2, 8, the 2, 4, the 2, the 2, 1. The. This will become 1 and go out. This will become 1 and go out. So outside will be 4. Inside what will stay is this root 2. This will be the value of pq is equal to 4 root 2. Okay, my dear students, so this is how it is going. And just to make you more used to do with this formula, they have given now in p corresponds to x1 comma p corresponds to x1 comma y1 which corresponds to a comma b. Q corresponds to x2 comma y2. This will correspond to minus a comma minus b. So I get x1 is equal to a, y1 is equal to b, x2 is equal to minus a, y2 is equal to minus b. These are the values that I get. These are written for my own sake. Now I will write the name of the formula that I am going to use by distance formula pq is equal to x2 minus x1 the whole square i should have taken x1 minus x2 because these both are negative okay i'll take in that way only when there is both negative so it is always better to write in this way pq is equal to x1 minus x2 the whole square plus y1 minus y2 the whole square and then i'll write the root of this because see here now what will happen x1 minus x2 a minus minus a will give me a plus a the whole square plus b y1 minus y2 b minus minus b will give me b plus b the whole square this i'll solve a plus a will be 2a the whole square plus 2b the whole square. Now when I open this bracket it will become 4a square plus 4b square. Are we getting this square will go to 2 also. 2 square is 4, a square is a square. Here also 2 square is 4 and b square is b square. Square root will definitely continue. But now 4 will go out as a common factor but inside the radical. Inside the radical a square plus b square. This is how it will be written. And now 4 can be square root of 4, you can find 2. But this is not going to make any change. This is the surprising and the tricky thing over here. Remember my dear students, root of a square plus b square, you can't find. Even root of a square minus b square, you can't find. Definitely, but root of 
a plus b the whole square is definitely a plus b similarly root of a minus b the whole square is definitely a minus b whole square is definitely calculate can be calculated but when it is square plus square now you can't do you will have to leave it as it is okay this you have to remember this is really very important because this is where some people some students really get tricked over there so now we can proceed further to the second question this is really going to be now different find the distance between point 0 comma 0 and 36 comma 15 can you now find the distance between the two towns a and b discussed in section 7.2 now what is the 7.2 where is the 7.2 have a look at it i really don't have that now my dear students okay. mm. See, it is basically in the, you should be able to find the distances in the same fashion. See, here, find the distances between point 0, 0. Now, here again the same thing. Let P correspond to X1, Y1. Let this correspond to 0, 0. Let Q correspond to X2, Y2. Let this correspond to 36, 15. Therefore, X1 is equal to 0 y1 is equal to 0, x2 is equal to 36, y2 is equal to 15. This is what we will get. Now by distance formula, pq is going to be, what will I take? This x2 minus x1, this is 0, I better take, it is not going to make any difference again. x2 minus x1, the whole square, plus y2 minus y1, the whole square, and then root of this so this will give me pq is equal to 36 minus 0 the whole square plus 15 minus 0 the whole square and then you will find the root of this so you will get pq is equal to 36 square plus 15 square now no other go but to find the roots or the find the squares 36 into 36 30 plus 6 the whole square you can take it in this fashion also that will be 900 plus so this will be 2, 6, 12, 12, 3, 36, 360 plus 36. This should become otherwise. We now have to do this. 6, 6, 36, 18, 19, 20, 21. 3, 6, 18, 3, 9, 10. 6, 9, 2, 1, 2, 9, 6. वो ही आता था 900 पर 369 10 11 12 12 60 12 60 12 96 सेम बुड़ाव कर दिस इज़ इक्वल टू पीक्यू स्क्वायर इज़ इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ़ 1 2 9 6 नाउ कैन वी फाइंड द स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ़ 1 2 9 6 इफ़ यू कैन रियली गो थ्रू रश थ्रू देन गो ऑन 2 6 जा 12 2 4 जा 8 2 8 जा 16 ओके 2 6 जा 12 2 4 जा 8 2 8 जा 16 2 3 जा 6 2 2 जा 4 2 4 is 8. This will be 2 1s are 2, 6s are 12, 2s are 2, 8s are 2, 1s are. Yes, this is possible. 3, 2s are 3, 7s are 3, 9s are 3, 3s are 3, 1s are. This will make 1, 2, this will make 1, 2, this will make 1, 3, this will make 1, 3. This will be 2, 2s are 4, 3, 3s are 9, 9, 4s are 36. So therefore, you will get. What did I do? No, <laughs> this will be 15 square is 225. <laughs> 36 square I got 1296. Fine, and then I found the square root of the same. That is not possible. 36 square is 1296. 15 square is 225. And now I will have to add these two. 1296 plus 225. 6 plus 5, 11, 9, 10, 11, 12, 5, 1521. 1, 1, is equal to root of. 1, 5, 2, 1. And this I will have to calculate now. Okay. So if I go to calculate this 1, 5, 2, 1. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 3. 5 is 15, 0, 7. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yes. 3. 1 is 3. 3. Mm. 3, 4, 5. 3, 6 is 18. 3, 9 is 27. 1, 16, 9 is 13. Okay, 
So this will make 1, 3, this will make 1, 13. So answer will be PQ is equal to 39. This will be your answer. Okay, my dear students, see, try to understand this. You will have to find that this I missed over here. Find the square of this, find the square of this. Then I will have to add this. Then I will have to find the square root. Okay. In this way, definitely I feel same way it should be. Just see, I can give it for your homework. Something you can do for homework, no problem. Okay. Now going to question number 3. Determine if the points 1, 5, 2, 3, minus 2, minus 11 are collinear. Now is the thing that I told you. Sometimes you will have to use logics, some concepts over here. Now what they are asking you that there are 3 points. Try to understand. I am doing the rough work over here. And there. there are 3 points. Now they can be in any fashion. Means they can be 1, 5, P can be over here. Q can be anywhere, anywhere, anywhere. Or they can be in a straight line also. And when they are in the straight line at that, so that time also, they can be like this. They can be like this or they can be anyhow. They can be anyhow. But you have to identify what are there. First of all, are they in collinear point? When they have collinear means are they in same line or they are not in a same line? Now, what will you do? See, my dear students, what is the concept over here, the logic over here? Now, this is not the logic of coordinate geometry. This is the logic of basics of maths. This is not the logic of coordinate geometry. Coordinate geometry just gave you a formula, that distance formula. By distance formula, you will be able to find the length of the between, uh, distance between the two points. That is given to you. Now, it is up to you. How are you going to use the formula in different ways? So, can you use this formula to find whether the points are collinear or not? Yes. What happens? You will find distance between any two points any two points and there are there are pqr so you will once find distance pq you will once find distance pr and then you will once find distance qr these three distances you will find they can be any i don't know they can be equal they can be not equal they can be somebody will be greater somebody will be smaller one thing you have to understand whichever is the greatest of all supposing if i get qr is the greatest of all so i will have to keep that aside and the remaining two if they add up to become this greatest one, then they are collinear points. Because if QR is greatest, then how will it be this? This will be the this. QR will be greater. That means Q and R are the end points. And now if RP and PQ, if they exactly add up to become QR, then RP, Q are the collinear points as they have been told. Are you getting my dear students? Yeah. So this is what they are being told. So, that is how you have to do. Then, in short, what is the concept over here? We have to find all the three distances. <clears throat> when they ask us, determine if these points are collinear. So, what I will do over here? Let P correspond to 1 comma 5. Try to understand this. Oh no, P correspond to actually 1 x comma y 1 x1 comma y1. Let this correspond to 1 comma 5. Let Q correspond to x2 comma y2 and this will correspond to 2 comma 3. R correspond to x3 comma y3 and this will correspond to minus 2 comma minus 3. A very interesting thing my dear student. How are these going to be framed? Always have the habit of drawing the diagram. Diagrams are your two friends, true friends. When it comes to physics, units are your true friends. And when it comes to geometry, diagrams are your true friends. How this will be looking now? PQ is 1, 5. So it will be 1, 5 somewhere over here on top. And where will be Q? 2, 3. Again, first quadrant. Both are in the first quadrant. But this will be now 2, 3 somewhere over here. Fine. And R will be minus 2, minus 11. So minus 2, minus 11. This will go somewhere over here the full chance that they are going to be in the straight line and they will look like this this you should be able to visualize only then you are going to taste coordinate geometry and this you should practice always why see my dear students these are basic level questions if you are able to visualize these diagrams and if you are be able to, if you are able to draw these diagrams only then when complex questions of 4 marks and 5 marks will be asked at that time you will be able to visualize the questions 
this is very important though in coordinate geometry drawing the diagrams though they are not asked and though uh, marks are not given for them you should draw diagrams for your own sake for your own knowledge so that you taste the question take the test taste of that question and then when the complex questions are asked you are able to experience that question you are able to visualize that question once you visualize the question only then you will be able to answer the question okay so in this way we come over here now what i will get is x1 is equal to what 1 y1 is equal to what 5 x2 is equal to what 2 y2 is equal to what 3 x3 is equal to what minus 2 y3 is equal to what minus 11 these are the three values that you are going to get now i will find all the three by distance formula PQ is equal to what? PQ. Now, when I am dealing with PQ, I am dealing with X1, Y, X1, X2. So, X1, X2 only. So, both are this positive X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square and then root of this. Definitely, because I have to find the values now. So, PQ is equal to 2 minus 1 the whole square plus 3 minus 5 the whole square and then root of this. So, this will give me PQ is equal to 2 minus 1, 1 square plus 3 minus 5 minus 2 the whole square then I will get the root of this. PQ is equal to 1 plus 2 square will be minus 2 square will be 4. This will give me PQ is equal to root 5. Okay my dear students, this is my 1. Similarly, I will go to find QR. QR is equal to what? Now, QR is dealing with 3 and 2. 3 and 2 are over here. So, x, x3 is negative. I will write x2 minus x3. x2 minus x3, the whole square, plus y2 minus y3, the whole square, and then root of this. Simply because QR is equal to 2 minus minus 2. That will be 2 plus 2, the whole square, plus 3 minus minus 11 that will be 3 plus 11 the whole square that's why I wrote negative behind Q is equal to 2 plus 2 is 4 square plus 11 12 13 14 square again square root of this QR is equal to 16 14 is what 176 or something like that 14 4 4 the 16 4 the 4 5 one four the four one one the one ninety six is it true four four the sixteen four the four five one four the four maybe chalo one ninety six so this will give QR is equal to ten eleven two hundred and twelve I will have to factorize this one the zero six the two five the ten three the how oh, this is not coming anywhere two root fifty three Okay, this is not going to help in any way. I don't think they are collinear points. Now what? Next is, we can keep it, keep them in any fashion. This also is required over here. Root 5, root 212, solved it. Purpose they have solved it. PQ I got, QR I got. PQ, QR. Now PR is remaining. PR. Now for PR, PR. X1 and X3. X1 and X3. These are there. X1 and X3, the X3 is negative x1 minus x3 the whole square plus y1 minus y3 the whole square and then I will get the root of this. So, this will give PR is equal to x1 is y1. 1, 1 minus minus 2 means 1 plus 2 the whole square plus 5 minus minus 11 will give me 5 plus 11 the whole square and then I will get this as root of this. This will give me PR is equal to 1 plus 2 3 square plus 11 plus 5 16 square root of this PR is equal to 9 plus ah, again 16 square will be 256 I suppose 6 6 are 6 to the minute 9 yes 256 256 so this will give you PR is equal to 264 root of this 
they are nowhere close okay they are nowhere 265 they are nowhere close see what happens over here when you get what we, you can make out the greatest is pr is the greatest one root 265 is the greatest one this should be equal to when i add the other two pq plus qr when i do root 5 plus root 212 i should get this but this is not possible now here since pq plus qr is equal to what root 5 plus root 212 since pq plus qr is not equal to pr therefore p q r are not collinear points simple reasoning will be required because they are if you add the two smaller things they are not going to be the bigger value that's why they are called not collinear points check whether are the vertices of an isosceles triangle now here again if i do this see this is a triangle they are given definitely they are the vertices of a triangle so again i'll do the same thing p q r of course x1 comma y1 x2 comma y2 x3 comma y3 here fourth one i am doing 5 comma minus 2 6 comma 4 anything i can write anywhere i can write this here no no problem once i have decided them then i have to use them in the same fashion now here are the vertices of an isosceles triangle see when you are doing this you can you definitely have to do again the same thing pq you have to find using the formula distance formula pr you have to find it but when you find pq and pr and if they themselves come congruent then there is no necessity of finding qr because for an isosceles triangle any two sides are congruent it is an isosceles triangle any two sides are congruent it is an isosceles triangle but if supposing if you find pq you find pr and they are not congruent then you will have to find qr and then check whether qr is congruent to any of this one any one of this if it is congruent to any one of this even then it is an isosceles triangle if it is not congruent none of the two sides are congruent then it is not an isosceles triangle so this is how the concept goes and now i'll start solving let p correspond to x1 comma y1 this corresponds to 5 comma minus 2 this diagram really helps a lot q corresponds to x2 comma y2 this corresponds to 6 comma 4 r correspond to x3 comma y3 this corresponds to 7 comma minus 2 okay 5 minus 2 6 4 7 7 minus 2 fine therefore x1 is equal to 5 y1 is equal to minus 2 x2 is equal to 6 y2 is equal to 4 x3 is equal to 7 y3 is equal to minus 2 these are the values fine now again the same thing by distance formula pq is equal to pq x1 x2 x1 x2 uh this one is negative so i will take this x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square this i will get pq is equal to what is x2 6 minus 5 6 minus 5 the whole square plus this is 4 minus minus 2 4 plus 2 the whole square now this will become square root of this pq is equal to 6 minus 5 1 square plus 4 plus 2 6 square again square root of this pq is equal to 1 plus 36 square root of this root 37 this is done now i'll go to find pr for finding pr x1 and x3 x1 and x3 positive positive negative negative both are negative now you can take anything this will become x1 x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square the root of this x2 pr na p 
PR, sorry my dear students, X3, Y3. That's why see again, counter checking is going on. That's why I am able to make my, uh, tra trace my mistakes. 7 minus 5, the whole square, plus minus 2, minus minus 2 will give me plus 2, the whole square, this is gone. So PR is equal to 7 minus 5 will give me 2 square. This will be 2 minus 2, 0. This everything will be 0. Therefore, PR is equal to 2 I will get. This is root 37, this is 2. Though now both are not congruent, I will have to go to find QR. So QR is equal to QR x3, x2, x3, x2. Y3 is negative, so I will take x2. x2 minus x3 the whole square plus y2 minus y3 the whole square root of this. So this will become QR. X2 is 6 minus 7 the whole square plus 4 minus minus 2 will give me plus 2 the whole square. Again the root of this. QR is equal to minus 1 square plus 6 square. This will give me QR is equal to 1 plus 36 the root of this. This will give me QR is equal to root 37. This is 1, this is 2, this is 3. From 1 and 3, PQ is equal to QR. Therefore, triangle PQR is an isosceles triangle. Are you getting my dear student? This is quite easy. Nicely going questions. No problems at all. Okay. Uh, this is done. So I think now here this also is quite easy. Here they are telling in a classroom four friends are seated at the points A, B, C, D. So you can make out the coordinates of A is 3, 4, B is 6, 1, again D is 6, 1, B is again 6, 7, C is 9, 4. Okay. Champa and Chameli walk into the class and after observing for a few minutes, Champa asks Chameli, don't you think ABCD is a square? Chameli disagrees. Using distance formula, find which of them is correct. Again the same thing. See my dear students, you will have to find AB, you will have to find BC, you will have to find CD and you will have to find AD. If you find AB, BC, CD, AD by distance formula and if they all are equal, then it is a square. So going forward to solve this, what we have to do is that, see here, A corresponds to x1, comma y1, let this correspond to what? 3, comma 4. Fine, then B corresponds to x2, comma y2. This corresponds to 6, comma 7. Always x coordinate is written first. C correspond to x3, comma y3. C is this 9, comma 4. Then D corresponds to x4, comma y4. This corresponds to 6, comma 1. Fine. So now we get, therefore, x1 is equal to 3, y1 is equal to 4, x2 is equal to 6, y2 is equal to 7, x3 is equal to 9 y3 is equal to 4, x4 is equal to 6, y4 is equal to 1. This is the condition. So what next? By distance formula. First I will find AB. AB is x2, x1. All are positive. Everywhere is positive. No problem. 
x2 minus x1 the whole square plus y2 minus y1 the whole square root of this. So, actually here also there is no need. We can straight solve ab square is equal to 6 minus 3 the whole square plus 7 minus for the whole square. We will just have to find the, that they are co uh, congruent. So, AB square is equal to 6 minus 3 is 3 square plus 7 minus 4 is 3 square. AB square is equal to, this is 9 plus 9. AB square is equal to 18. Fine. Now, we can go for BC. Square, I will write square. X3, X2 x3 x2 x3 minus x to the whole square plus y3 minus y to the whole square this will give me bc square is equal to x3 is 9 minus 6 the plus <coughs> sorry 4 minus 7 the whole square so bc square 9 minus 6 is 3 square plus 4 minus 7 is minus 3 the whole square. But anyhow, square is going to be always positive. So, BC square is equal to 18. This is true. Now, I will find CD. For CD, three and 4 and 3. X4 minus X3 the whole square plus square x4 is 6 minus 9 the whole square plus 1 minus 4 the whole square. So, you get cd square is equal to minus 3 square plus minus 3 square. This is still going to be 9 plus 9. cd square is equal to 18. Now, da square or ad square whatever. 4, 1. 4 is 6 minus 3. 1 minus 4. So, AD square is equal to again 18. So, you can see that from 1, 2, 3, 4, what do we get? From 1, 2, 3, 4, we get AB square is equal to BC square is equal to CD square is equal to AD square. Therefore, AB is equal to BC is equal to CD is equal to AD. Taking square root of all sides. So, what is this now? Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is rhombus. Remember, this is not a square as in yet. This is not a square as in yet. What you have to do now is that because all sides are equal, it can be a rhombus. For a square, each angle has to be 90 degree. Can you handle angle equal to 90 degree? You can't find angle by distance formula. But definitely what you can do is that you can find AC and you can find BD. Because for a rhombus, for a rhombus, diagonals are not congruent, but for a square, diagonals are congruent. This is what I told you, your basic has to be strong. So now you will have to find AC and BD also and AC and BD should be congruent to themselves, AC and BD. Of course, AC and BD will not be congruent to AB, BC, CD and all. Huh? So we will have to find by distance formula. But now it will be by distance 
formula i will have to find ac ac x3 x1 okay so ac is equal to ac square is equal to x3 minus x1 the whole square plus y3 minus y1 the whole square so ac square is equal to x3 minus x1 x3 9 minus 3 4 minus 4 so this is going to be 9 minus 3 the whole square plus 4 minus 4 the whole square so this is going to be ac square is equal to 9 minus 3 6 square this is going to be 0 look on ac square is equal to 36 this will be your 5 Similarly, we have to find BD also. BD square is going to be, of course, now X4, X2. X4 minus X2 the whole square plus Y4 minus Y2 the whole square. So, you get BD square is equal to X4 is what? 6 minus 6, 1 minus 7. Okay. 6 minus 6 the whole square plus 1 minus 7 the whole square. So this is going to be BD square 0 plus minus 6 the whole square. So you get BD square is equal to 36. From 5 and 6 we get AC square is equal to BD square therefore C is equal to BD. Again same thing taking square root of both sides therefore quadrilateral a b c d is a rhombus with diagonals congruent therefore quadrilateral a b c d is a square this is what you have to do. In this way, coordinate geometry is going to play tricks with you. You feel that you have done and then you know, don't know when you have not done. Now, here name the type of quadrilateral formed if any by following points and give the reasons for your answers. So, if this is a quadrilateral, again the same thing you will have to do my dear students. You will have to find each side A, B, C, D. You have to find A, B, B, C, C, D, A, D. If all sides are congruent, it is a rhombus. Then you will have to find diagonals. If diagonals are congruent, it is a square. If diagonals are not congruent, it is a rhombus. If only pair of opposite sides are congruent, it is a parallelogram. And after that, if the diagonals are congruent, then it is a rectangle. If diagonals are not congruent, only pair of opposite sides are congruent, then it is a parallelogram. Simple as that. Okay, my dear students. So, we will give it a shot. Sixth one we will try to do. I will try to do it in a speedy way. You also can do it. And let us see. A corresponds to x1, comma, y1. This corresponds to minus 1, comma, minus 2. B corresponds to x2, comma, y2. This corresponds to 1, comma, 0. C corresponds to x3, comma, y3. This corresponds to minus 1, comma, D corresponds to uh, 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 x4, comma, y4. This corresponds to minus 3, comma, 0. So now what I do? By, no, here x1 is equal to minus 1, y1 is equal to minus 2, x2 is equal to 1, y2 is equal to 0, x3 is equal to minus 1, y3 is equal to 2, x4 is equal to minus 3, y4 is equal to 0. This are going to help you now by distance formula. First I will find AB square is equal to what x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 the whole square. Now here you have to be careful x2 minus x1 1 minus minus 1 1 plus 1 okay 0 minus minus 2 will be 0 plus 2 the whole square so this will give you a b square is equal to 2 square 
plus 2 square right eh? 1 plus 1 2 0 plus 2 2 so ab square is equal to 4 plus 4 ab square is equal to 8 this is what you have got about ab then of course bc for bc x3 x2 x3 minus x to the whole square plus y3 minus y to the whole square to so bc square x3 is minus 1 minus 1 plus 2 minus 0 fine minus 1 minus 1 2 minus 0 so bc square is equal to minus 2 square plus 2 square minus 2 square will be 4 2 square will be 4 again bc square is equal to 8 this is now close to rhombus because adjacent sides have come congruent hmm? but then we have to be sure about other sides also so here dc square or cd square x4 x3 x4 minus x3 the whole square plus y4 minus y3 the whole square so this will give you x4 is 3 minus 3 minus minus 3 minus minus 1 will be minus 3 plus 1 the whole square plus 0 minus 2 the whole square so this will give you dc square is equal to minus 3 plus 1 minus 2 square plus minus 2 square 4 square plus uh, 4 plus 4 so dc square or cd square is equal to 8 this is your 3 now ad square is equal to ad is x4 x1 x4 minus x1 the whole square plus y4 minus y1 the whole square so ad square or da square is equal to x4 x1 minus 3 minus minus 1 minus 3 minus minus 1 will give you minus 3 plus 1 the whole square plus 0 minus minus 2 that will be 0 plus 2 the whole square so this will be ad square is equal to minus 2 square plus 2 square again ad square is equal to 4 plus 4 ad square is equal to 8 this is your 4 so from 1 2 and 3 AB square is equal to BC square is equal to DC square is equal to AD square. AB is equal to BC is equal to DC is equal to taking square root. Okay. Therefore, quadrilateral ABCD is a rhombus. But now we will have to think about a b c d is done a c and b d the a c again you will have to find by addition formula a c is equal to what x 3 minus x 1 plus is a c square x3 minus x1 x3 minus x1 minus 1 minus minus 2 means minus 1 plus 2 2 plus 2 minus 1 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 this will give me a c square is equal to 1 square plus 4 square a c square is equal to 1 plus 16 17 okay minus 1 minus so x3 minus just a minute minus 1 plus 1 oh, oh, oh minus plus 1 this is going to be 0 counter checking 16 minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 minus minus 1 that will be minus 1 plus 1 2 minus minus 2, 2 plus 2. Right. This is 16. And what about BD square will be x4 minus x2 the whole square plus y4 minus y2 the whole square. Minus 3 minus 1 the whole square.
0 square. So, from 5 and 6, AC square is equal to BD square. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a rhombus with diagonals congruent. Therefore, quadrilateral A, B, C, D is a square. This is how you have to travel, my dear students. Two more questions. <laughs> this is like this stuff. Hello. We'll have to go for it anyhow. I'll now change the names just for. But of course, x1 comma y1 will remain the same. This will be minus three comma five. Three comma one. So, I will get so by distance formula. get pq square is equal to <coughs> sorry x2 minus x1 the whole square plus three minus minus three that is three plus three the whole square plus one minus five the whole square six square plus minus four square okay so this will become 36 plus 16, 52. Now I go for QR. QR is x3, x2. Zero minus three the whole square plus three minus one the whole square. So this will give me minus three square plus three minus one two square. Nine plus four. This is something different. Mm -hmm. This is Q R square nine ten eleven twelve thirteen. Oh. Now, I will go to PQ, QR, RS square, fine. <coughs> this is mm, where is this one? Just confirming RS square x4 x4 minus 1 minus 0 minus 4 minus 3 
this is coming something really very 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 dangerous figures now rs square is also done pq qr rs mm -hmm. ps square x4 minus x1 x4 minus 1 minus minus 3 minus 4 minus 5 now you can see pq square is not equal to qr square is not equal to rs square is not equal to nothing is equal therefore pq also will not be equal to qr which will not be equal to rs which will not be equal to ps since none of the sides are equal therefore quadrilateral pqrs is just a quadrilateral it is not even a in short it is not even a parallelogram kuch bhi identity special identity doesn't have it is not even a parallelogram forget about rectangle forget about square forget about rhombus not even a parallelogram so now we can go for question number 3 actually i'm getting somewhat late but i'll have to finish this question number 3 here we get again same thing a corresponds to x1 comma y1 this corresponds to what 4 comma 5 b corresponds to x2 comma y2 this corresponds to uh, 7 comma 6 c corresponds to x3 comma y3 this corresponds to 4 comma 3 d corresponds to x4 comma y4 this corresponds to 1 comma 2 so i get x1 is equal to 4 y1 is equal to 5 x2 is equal to 7 y2 is equal to 6 4 3 1 2. this is done so what do i get now <coughs> sorry so what do I get now is that mm, AB square is equal to X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. So I get AB square is equal to 7 minus 4 the whole square plus 6 minus 5 the whole square. AB square is equal to 3 square plus 1 square. A, B is done now B, C. B, C, X3, X2. X3 minus X2 the whole square plus. Okay. So, B, C square. X3, X2. 4 minus 7. Plus 3 minus 6. Minus 3 square plus. Minus 3 square. how oh, this is coming different okay hopefully this is a parallelogram at least bc ab bc cd x4 minus x3 the whole square plus x4 x3 1 minus 4 2 minus 3 9 plus 1 so this is come 10 a b and c d are going equal and then a d square
I hope you all are getting all this. Same old stuff. 1 minus 4. 2 minus 5. Eighteen. Therefore, AB square is equal to CD square and BC square is equal to AD square. From 1 and 3, from 2 and 4. Therefore, AB is equal to CD and BC is equal to AD. Taking square roots therefore since opposite sides of quadrilateral AB CD are congruent therefore quadrilateral A B C D is a parallelogram but now we have to see about the diagonals for diagonals we will have to go to find AC, AC x3 minus x1 plus so AC square 3, 4 minus 4, this will give me 3 minus 5, this will give me AC square 4 minus 4, this is something different, 2 square something funny this is not possible a b c d a c x3 minus x1 x3 minus x1 4 minus 4 x3 minus 4 minus 1 3 minus 5 am i doing something wrong 4 5 7 6 4 3 1 2 how can this be possible <laughs> A, B, C, D, A, C only I have to find, it is right, X3 minus X1 and this is something different. Uh, A, C square is equal to 4, A, C is equal to how can this be possible? This is not supposed to be right. Some problem. Let us see. Let us go forward. AC square, BD square. BD square is equal to x4 minus x2 the whole square plus actually this is something nonsensical. x4 minus x3 x4 1 minus 4 the whole square plus 2 minus 5 the whole square this will give you bd square minus 3 square plus minus 3 square then this will give you bd square is equal to 9 plus 9 then this will give you bd square is equal to 18 therefore ac square is not equal to bd square therefore ac is not equal to bd Therefore, quadrilateral AB CD is a parallelogram because it does not have diagonals congruent. But let me check one thing. See, my dear students, this is supposing A, B, C, D. AB is what we got? Root 10. Oh, root 10. Ha, ha. Sorry, I took it as 10. Ha. Root 10. Square root of 10 will be less than 3. square root of 10 9 is less than 10 3 this will be less than no greater than 3 it will be definitely greater than 3 ab will be greater than 3 anywhere will be greater than 3 and what about bc uh, 4 4 the 16 so it will be greater than 
4. Ha, then the here also, what it is? AC is equal to 2 I have got. Uh, this is something. Ah, okay. Ha, right, right. It's right. No problem. No problem. No problem. It is a normal triangle. It is definitely not a right angle triangle. Sorry, my dear student. This is not a right angle triangle. I was wondering that this cannot be greater, but of course it can be greater because this is just a normal triangle. It doesn't have a right angle triangle. Therefore, it is not that AC is a diagonal of or it is not a hypotenuse of ABC. It is right. No problem. I was wondering that because if supposing this would have been a night that this cannot, but no, it's okay, fine. Everything is unnecessarily confusing things. So this is done, my dear students, up to question number six, and we stop over here. Soon I'll be coming back and solving the other questions. Okay, my dear students, thank you very much. See you all soon. Bye for the day.